Hello there. I'm the senior investigator of the ICAC, ISA. Hong Kong citizens applying for public services should bear one thing in mind. They should not offer advantages to public servants for preferential treatment. Let me share some terms. First is the phrase going upstairs. Literal meaning aside, which is to go up a building, it also means being allocated a public housing unit. This is good. We got a public housing unit. Now we have more space. But it's a worn out flat. Yeah, to that, it's really remote. It takes more than an hour to get to work. Just think of the cost. But we can't change things. This is for us, so take it or leave it. I'll ask for a better unit by writing to the housing department. That should help us. You think that'll work? It could. I'll just explain. I know. Perhaps we could give the officials some tea money. I think they would really like that. What do you think? You're right. Who doesn't like a gift? Never do that. If you offer a bribe to staff at the housing department in exchange for a better unit, it's a breach of the Prevention of Bribery Ordinance. Never offer an advantage to any public servant even as a sign of gratitude. Giving the staff a simple word of thanks or a letter of appreciation is enough. Now let's talk about getting a license. This means obtaining a qualification through some sort of exam, like an estate or insurance agent. Even driving requires an exam. Rear view mirror, indicator, gear shift. Good morning, sir. ID card, please. What is this? I'm sorry, ID card. You may begin. So then, sir, did I pass or fail this? Hey, sir? What is it? For you, a token of my gratitude. What is that? Please, sir, take this packet and let me pass. It is bribery if the candidate offers a red packet to the driving examiner of the transport department to get a pass. It breaches the prevention of bribery ordinance. The examiner is also in breach if he accepts it. Hello there. Today I would like to talk about getting a place. Often in Hong Kong, we need to get a place, either for dining or maybe parking or school admission for our children. Why didn't you answer the headmistress in the interview? Didn't we practice all this at home? Oh, headmistress. How are you, headmistress? I'd like to know whether my daughter Macy has a chance of being admitted here. You see, it's her wish to study at this school. Correct, Macy? Please don't worry, Mrs. Lau. We'll contact you as soon as we have the results. Of course, headmistress. But you know how difficult it is to secure a place in this district. If she isn't offered a seat here, she'll have to travel an hour to school in another district. Won't you please help us out? Mrs. Lau, we'll contact you once we have the results. Headmistress, I just bought this designer handbag. I think it suits you better. What do you think? Why don't you give it a try? What? Parents are concerned about their children's school, but they shouldn't bribe school staff for that reason. Mrs. Lau offers the headmistress an advantage for a place at the school, thus breaching the law. Parents should set a good example for their children to be fair and law-abiding. People in Hong Kong often exchange gifts during festivals, but sometimes they can't be given out at will. Let me explain more on offering a gift. Mr. Chow, hello there. Hello, Mrs. Chung. Mr. Chow, for the coming festival, I bought mooncakes. Here's a box for you. Thanks a lot, but keep it for yourself. I bought this especially for you. You've been teaching my son with such patience. Thanks to you, he's shown great improvement at school. Thank you very much. There's no need to give me such a gift. It's all part of my job. Plus, the school's policy prohibits us from receiving gifts from parents. No need to worry, I won't tell anybody. Huh? If Mrs. Chung offers a gift to Mr. Chow, in exchange for preferential treatment for her son, it's bribery. Even if it is meant as an appreciation, parents must first check the school's policy, as some schools prohibit staff from accepting gifts from parents. By now, I believe all of you know how to uphold the culture of probity in daily life. Remember, one should not offer any advantage in exchange for preferential treatment, neither for public services nor for business with private companies, such as opening a bank account. If you come across corruption, report it to the ICAC. You are welcome to visit the ICAC regional offices for inquiries.